These members of the committee expressed that for them, doing the Dia de los Muertos themed service was a celebration of multiculturalism and had respectful intentions. Other members of the worship ministry team disagreed. For them, they felt uncomfortable and were concerned that the service might be an unintentional form of cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation is a big word, a big idea that means borrowing parts of another culture um, in a way that's ethically problematic. The Unitarian Universalist Association on its worship website says cultural appropriation means consciously or unconsciously seeking to emulate concepts, beliefs, or rituals that are foreign to our particular framework. It's incorporating language, cultural expressions, forms, lifestyles, rituals, or practices about which there's little basis for direct knowledge, experience, or authenticity. It all, it's also the superficial appreciation of a culture, perhaps without regard to its deeper meaning. The conversations we had in the worship ministry team were deep. Members shared their own feelings and listened deeply to the feelings of others. We didn't all agree. There was a strong diversity of opinion. The word liturgy means work of the people. The worship ministry team and Reverend Tom invite your feedback. Do you miss the Dia de los Muertos altar? Do you like the ritual we've created this year? Where do you come down on this question of cultural appropriation? These are important questions for which there are no single correct answers, but in our commitment to be ethical and accountable, these are important questions for us to struggle with. Also know that how we do our ritual this year is not necessarily how it will be every year. We want to hear from you. Our worship service this morning borrows from the feelings and the imagery of autumn. Christine Robinson writes, The long summer has faded, and these first days of November mark the beginning of the coming of winter. The first frosts threaten our tender plants, leaves are falling from the trees, and geese come down from the north, passing through on their way to the south. The days are cooler, the weather unsettled, and the evenings are suddenly dark. The cycle of life comes around again and finds us face to face with the fall. Light gives way to dark. Warmth gives way to chill. The wind blows. The fields lay fallow after the harvest. Death brushes up right against life. Come and step across this threshold into November. Come and bring your treasured memories, all your memories of love. Come and be here now. Come, let us worship. So I want to to introduce our ritual this morning. Um, and first of all, I want to start is that if you're sitting near the aisle, you should notice a basket with um, cut out leaves of many colors and pens. And I would like for you to begin to pass those along. And I'd like for everybody to take one leaf since there are going to need to be some leaves left for the second service. And you're invited, as you pass them along, <clears throat> you're invited to write on your leaf the name of a life that you are remembering today or of several lives that you're choosing to remember uh, during this ritual. In just a few moments, you're going to be able, to, you're going to be invited to come forward towards the altars and uh, you're going to be invited to the one that is there with the, with the lights on it. You're going to be invited to place your leaf upon the altar. If you brought this morning, if you brought pictures, photos, or other mementos, you may bring those as well and place them on that altar. And after um, this service and after the second service, if you wish, if you decide to stick around, um, and then you may retrieve your pictures. As you come forward, you're also invited, if you so wish, to light a candle. Um, if you're lighting a candle in memory, I invite you to start with the candles in the back and work towards the front. That way, we, nobody's going to be reaching over flames to light a candle. Does that make sense to everyone? So... From the, from the back to the front um, so that no one has to reach over candles. 
And the reason we have, um, we have two altars is um, in some ways that they represent um, two sides of life. There is uh, this side, which the, the fallen leaves represents the, the cycle of life, the natural cycle of the seasons. And this side represents the way that the lives that are now gone um, still continue to, to flicker on, still continue to shine and illuminate our lives. Um, and so you're welcome to participate in one altar or the other or both. And then just a little bit more directions. Um, the flow of traffic we're going to try doing is, is down the side aisles and then up through the center. Um, Sarah, my worship associate, will come on this side and will release people from this side, and I'll be on that side, and we'll release people from this side so that we don't get too much traffic at the front. Is this clear to everyone? Yeah. And um, while, we're, while we're doing this, um, I would invite, uh, Glenn is going to play the uh, words to a, a hymn in the hymnal, Comfort Me. And anyone who wishes to is invited to sing along. The words are in your order of service, um, if you'd like to sing along. Let us begin our ritual this morning. So I would like, for the message for all ages, I would like for any of the children who are here who want to do so, I invite you to come down front and uh, take a seat on the ground down here because I've got some things to show that you may want to see up close. So come on down. All right, yeah, take a seat, yeah. I can't, you can come, come around. You can come around. Yeah, there we go. All right. And thank you to the, to the children's choir for, uh, for filling in here. So I've got some, I've got some things to show here. I, I went outside this week and and found some things on the ground. I want to kind of show them to you. I found uh, several leaves of, of all colors. Some of them are really beautiful. They fill, fill this year. And others of them, there's a, there's a lot here. There's all sorts of yellows, and this one is almost a little, a little black. It's already falling apart. And then this one, I, don't, I think this one must have fallen a year or two years ago, and it's, you can see it's almost, almost ready to fall apart there. I found some, some grass seeds, and I found here, this is what my, my mom would always get really mad if I ran through this one. These are these, these seeds that stick to you, do you know? Do you know those the the sticky ones? She'd say you're going to have to take all those out before you come in the house. And then there's there these leaves. These leaves here kind of just roll themselves up automatically when they fall, which I think is pretty is pretty interesting. And then there's there's more stuff in here. There's little little seed pods from these and seed pods from these and more. More seed pods, and there's oh, that's a little a little prickly there, a little pine cone. And there's these. That's an interesting seed pod, isn't it? All sorts of things in the autumn, and then just sort of pour all sorts of all sorts of things, and more seed pods, 
And these ones almost look like little pea, pea pods. And then I got a whole handful of, of acorns. And I think the squirrels got, the squirrels were chirping at me very loudly when I was picking these up. I think the squirrels were, the squirrels were upset at me for getting them. And so there's my, all of the things in, in my bowl, all of the things that, that have fallen with fall. So I want to ask you a question. Are these, are these things here, are they, are they alive or are they dead? What do you think? What's, what do you think? They're still alive? Okay. What do you think? I think they're dead because they fell off the tree. Yeah. You think they're dead because they fall off the tree and the tree is the source of life? What do you think? You're pretty sure they're dead because they're, because they're brown and is their normal color. Why'd you say they were alive? Okay, so these leaves still have... They're still, they're still doing a little photosynthesis still, even though, they're, even though they're fallen from the tree. Anyone else want to take a guess on these things are, are living? Yeah? I think some are alive and some are dead. Because, um, the, leaves are the leaves are a little alive, but the seeds are alive. And so, which is, which is really interesting, because if you were to, if I were to just leave this in here and add maybe a little bit of a little bit of dirt to it, maybe some water, maybe some sunlight, but inside these, these acorns, some of them might eventually crack open and grow, into, and grow into an oak tree, right? It wouldn't be very good for the bowl. <laughs> and so some of, these, some, of these do carry, some of these do carry seeds, and even though they may look very dry and dead right now in Seeds can last, seeds can last if they're in the right situation. They can last for years and years and years and years and spring, in, spring into life years later. Some of them can last for a long time. Also, one of the things that's interesting, if you go out, has anyone ever, has ever gone through and dug, dug down in, in leaves in the woods to see what's underneath them? Yeah? Has anyone ever dug, has anyone ever dug through leaves? On the top, there's all the leaves that look, that look like this, dried, like they've just fallen off the tree. And then underneath are ones that are a few years old, and they're usually wet and damp. And then the ones even lower are a few years old. And then you get into ones that have all sorts of things going on. They're breaking down, and they're, they're moldy. And then underneath that is dirt. And underneath that are the roots of trees that are taking the, the substance, the, the sustenance from that dirt and bringing it back and giving life to the tree. So sometimes I think of, I think of even the leaves as maybe not still alive, but still contributing to the cycles of life because these leaves, if they're, if they're left in peace, they will, they will break down and break down and break down and become the stuff it gives life to the trees that are out there growing right now. I think of our, of our ancestors, our family members, the people we love, the people who came before us, whether that's a thousand years ago or a hundred years ago or a few years ago, that in some ways their spirits, what they taught us, um, what they wrote, what they said, what they sang, how they loved, how they worked, continues to give us, continues to allow us to live well today. And so the fall is a cycle of life. But even though it is, it seems like all these things are dead, it is part of a life cycle that goes on. And so thank you for coming down and hearing um, about some of the things that, uh, that I picked up this week. And if you'd like to come take a look, you can come take a look. Would you like to touch any of the seeds or the leaves or anything?